Hello. Hello, sir. I'm back again. How are you? Nice to see you. I'm here representing Summit this time. We're going to do a little generic action. Great. You know. But yeah. I don't get to be last. I think there might be one other reporter after me. Did you see someone? I didn't. Because I heard he wasn't out I know. there. We, we lost him, so let's hope he's last. Okay, Care Warner, Summit Entertainment. All right. Wow. Who? Oh, what is that? Um, I don't know, but I got to the garlicky part of it, and uh, nice. I think I'm done with that drink. That's good. That's good for good for the Yeah. All right. So, who is Merritt? Merritt is, uh, shall we say, a uh, mentalist who had some uh, great success earlier in life. Has uh, sunk to the bottom of the uh, abyss and. Uh, and, and then gets this opportunity to come work with these other three um, magicians in the form of Isla Fisher, uh, Dave Franco, Jesse Eisenberg. And the four of us come together and we pull off these heists. We steal from the rich, we give to the poor. It's kind of noble. What is their, what, are, what is the horseman's like goal? What the, why are they doing it? Fun. No, uh, we're doing it. <laughs> we actually, there's, a, there's this direction coming from on high, which is someone that we don't even know. It's, that's one of the mysterious components of the movie. And so we don't know who it is, and they, are, they represent what's called the I, which is this elite, hyper, super elite organization that you can become a part of. Every magician wants to become a part of. And uh, very few get the opportunity. So that's really what's driving all of us. Got it, got it. Who, what do you think is the audience payoff? Who, who should come see this movie? Well, I think this movie would be good for anyone uh, from, say, 6 to 88, male or female. I mean, that's a... That's the demographic we're going for. It's a good demo. Yeah. You can get everyone. <laughs> what kind of notes do you think the film hits, as far as if you had to pin it on a genre? Uh, uh, comedy. Action. Thriller. And a country rest western honky-tonk flavor. <laughs> One of my favorites. <laughs> Uh, I was just kidding about that last bit. Okay. What for you was the most magical day on set? I think the first day I met Michael Caine was pretty magical for me, you know, just to be like, you're freaking Michael Caine. <laughs> like, you know, what do you say to a guy like that? I was kind of starstruck and it took me a while to find my voice, but, uh, you know, eventually... He's a really nice guy. Just tells the most amazing stories. Amazing stories. And, you know, going out to dinner with him and hanging out. It was really cool. How about in the big kind of production show aspect? Were there any specific moments that were really great there? The magic shows? Well, um, you know, we did the shows. We did um, one in Vegas, and then we did one in New York. And the one we did in New Orleans was particularly cool because, you know, the audience is not a paying audience. In fact, they're a paid audience. This is something, you know, people may not know, you know, people at home may not know. And, uh, and yet, even being a paid audience, they can really start to get tired and not into it. Well, these New Orleans folks, I'm telling you the best extras I've ever seen. They were so charged up fired up, being in this crazy theater that had been underwater from Katrina and just was moldy as hell. And they were 14 hours of just greatness. Three days, four days in a row. So it was great to see that, you know. Great, great to just see the freaking amazing spirit of these people. Yeah, that is, that is magical. That was magic, yeah. yeah. Well, I actually, I've never done a thing where I address the extras but I did I said we're done okay I can I just want to say how great you guys are the best extras I've ever seen uh, so that's uh, I went on and on about that let's uh, let's drop it now it's good <laughs>
Good. What What do you think? Uh, what is it about Mr. Leterrier that was so he was such a good fit for this movie? Well, I mean, you have some really complicated things going on, and you have some magic uh, on stage that. You know, it's it's a dicey thing, magic on stage in front of uh, a movie audience, because they're hip to the fact that you can just do manipulate the cameras or do effects, and you know what I mean. But somehow he made all of that stuff really present and exciting and uh, believable, and then the way he pulled off the reveal of everything that happened, you know, because Morgan Freeman being the debunker. He would take you through how the thing was done. And, uh, I mean, I, I think he really, uh, he's kind of a, a master of uh, manipulating the, the camera, you know. And uh, so, yeah, he did a lot of things that stylistically, I think, really helped the movie. He did a good job. Nice. When can we see it? And I think the movie opens May 31st. If I'm not mistaken, at a theater near you, Perfect. you know, I know. Of course, you're gonna go see Iron Man three first. Good, get that out of the way. You, you, you know, you're gonna go see uh, The Great Gatsby. Good, get that out of the way. But then you're gonna be like, well, what do I do now? Now you want to see Now You See Me. Perfect. Okay. You, you must get paid to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, thank I don't think so they much. pay us for this. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Such a pleasure.